It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about why I bought the Fuji X-T4, which I'm filming on right now. And it's gonna be formatted like this, top 10 reasons, and the reasons are all in here and I'm gonna draw them out one at a time and talk about them. Top 10 reasons why I bought the Fuji X-T4. Uh, I have some lenses here, we'll talk about those. I have a little cozy personal fireplace. Uh, if you haven't seen my last video uh, where I introduced this, it's the uh, personal fireplace from the thank you video, so you can watch that up here. And uh, without further ado, let's go. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, top 10 reasons to buy the Fuji X-T4 in no particular order. This is comfort. So the Fuji X-T4 is a relatively small camera body and um, it's very comfortable to hold in the hands. I bought a small wooden grip. Um, I'll put a picture of that up. Uh, and it's very comfortable in the hands. It's, it's a, a light. It's easy to shoot with because of that lightweight. And I really enjoy um, how, how it feels. Now I've uh, made some videos about whether to buy the 5D Mark IV versus the EOS R. And I put in there demo, uh, demographics. <laughs> Ergonomics is one of the reasons that I prefer the EOS R over the 5D Mark IV. And again, that's a leading reason why to pick up the X-T4. It's comfortable. Now, I think the wood grip really enhances it. And it's actually a better feel in the hands with the wood grip. So I definitely recommend that. Now, I'll probably do a video reviewing this uh, model of it. It's kind of an L bracket wood grip. Um, and so it's comfortable to shoot with. Let's do another one, shall we? All right, here we go. I'm gonna get that going. Film simulations. So Fuji is known for their film simulations. You can shoot and have those um, kind of looks baked into the JPEG on the camera. Now I rented the Fuji X-T4 initially and I just fell in love with those film simulations. One, they're fun to play with. Two, there's kind of a variety so it opens up your thinking about colors and contrast and things like that. And um, it's, it's easy, it's free, it's part of it. It's not like something you paid extra for. Um, it's not a preset, it's actually in the camera on the JPEG. So you can shoot, transfer it to your cell phone, smartphone, and share on social media if you want. All right, I'll probably do a commercial, a commercial. I'll probably do a video coming up on shooting RAW versus JPEG in the Fuji. Uh, but let's go, next reason, top reasons to buy the Fuji X-T4. And this is, it's a mirrorless camera. Now I am a believer in the mirrorless system. I believe it's the next wave. It's beyond what DSLR can provide for us in terms of image quality, size, weight, those things. I believe the RF system is um, an innovation and even the Z, the Nikon Z glass, those, um, those were innovations brought to us by the mirrorless system. So I believe in it because it's a mirrorless camera, it's lighter and it's sharp and it delivers great Great, um, great outcomes. Mirrorless, it's the wave of the future. All right, here we go, next one. This is uh, image quality. So when I rented the X-T4, I was stunned by the image quality. Honestly, it was some video footage when I rented it. I didn't do a lot of stills. I mostly used it for video because that's kind of what I was thinking about it. That's how I was thinking about the X-T4 was for video. And I was really blown away by the quality, the dynamic range, especially the sharpness, the crispness, the kind of filmic look. It had a softness to it that sometimes digital cameras are overly harsh or um, they seem a little too um, sharpened. And this had a real pleasing look to the eye. Um, there's a YouTuber, he makes music videos and he actually, I, it, I just watched a video on his channel and I messaged him and said, what are you shooting with? Fuji. So that's one of the reasons why uh, I chose the X-T4. All right, here we go. Next reason. Should save that one for last. Should save it for last. Uh, I'll save it for last. I'll save it for last. All right, here we go. Now, whoa. Now, this one is surprising. Lens price. And this gets us into some interesting discussions with the lenses in front of me. I put lens price as one of the reasons that X-T4 is appealing. I'm not sure I knew it when I got the X-T4. I ordered the X-T4 with this lens, the 23 millimeter um, F2 lens. It's super high quality. I love this lens. It's a 35 millimeter equivalent and it's, I think it's about 400, 450 
Um, so it's equivalent to the RF35, which is one of my other favorite lenses in the world. So it's interesting, I like the 35 millimeter focal length, but this is an awesome lens. But another alternative, uh, the Helios 44 258 millimeter. So this is a manual focus vintage lens and it runs about $60, $70 is what I paid. Lens price. All right, here is the Viltrox 56. Uh, I think it's F1.4. So it's an equivalent of 84, 85 millimeter lens. And this is an amazing, like how people feel about their EF85 or their RF85, this lens produces beautiful images. I'm in love with this. It was $329, $329. And this, I don't even wanna open it. I think it was a mistake. I might return it or sell it. But this is called a cap lens and it fits on the body and you can actually just travel like that instead of having a cap. It's an 18 millimeter F8. So it's almost kind of a setup for street photography. I got it thinking I would put it on there um, for live streaming and have a low profile camera, but um, I really love the lens that's on there now. Oh, this was like 150 bucks. I love the lens that's on there now, which is 10 to 24 F4. So, and it was, uh, I bought, it's about 999. So it's the most expensive lens out of all of these. It's the lowest f-stop outside of this f8, um, but our highest f-stop, it's the <laughs> least bright lens, the slowest lens out of these, but also the most expensive. It has a stabilization on it. I got it for filming, for video, for vlogging, and I really love it, but I got it used for $615, so it's, it's a good deal for what it is. So lens price, all right, let's dig in. Let's finish this up. Okay, <laughs> knobs and such. So I really like the, the manual controls, the knobs on the top of the camera. I really like, alternatively, the Canon EOS R's touchscreen menu. I use that a lot. Um, I love that. But there's something different about this, a tactile approach. And I really like kind of feeling when I'm looking uh, through the viewfinder and adjusting things. I just like it. I like the click of the knobs. It's very satisfying. It's built well. It feels good in the hands. So it has to do with comfort. So there's a certain level of comfort shooting there, knowing you're mechanically changing and you can sense what those changes are in the camera when you are um, not looking. All right, here we go. Oh, 4K video. So 4K video is a big deal. I um, kind of committed a while back to shooting in 4K. The Canon EOS R has a crop sensor, so this is un uncropped 4K. Now it is an APS-C sensor, so um, APS-C or AC, I think it's APS-C sensor, so a crop sensor, so there's that, but you just have to figure that out with your lens. But uncropped 4K, um, I love it. So I've committed to doing that on YouTube, and so far so good, I love it. Bigger file sizes, but you know, just suck it up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's another one. By the way, my dad made this box in my thank you video. I think I talked about it because I introduced it and I said he made it. And uh, when I was looking at the video, I noticed there's a stamp that says Amico Chalk. And I'm like, oh, this is a box. Chalk came in. He didn't make that box. It's just, I, he stained it. He stained it and made it like a valet for his uh, dresser when uh, I was growing up. So. I have it now, I'm claiming it, he, I'm saying he made it, but it's a chalk box, but it's a cool little trinket. All right, back on topic. <laughs> okay, this is the same reason as last one, 4K 60. So you have 60 frames per second, uncropped 4K. Moving on, people. I was trying to get to top 10 reasons. Um, it is IBIS. This has in-camera, in-body image stabilization, and I love to shoot with it, um, and I haven't done enough. Actually, it's funny, when I rented the X-T4, I shot video only, and now that I bought it, I've shot primarily photos, and I haven't done nearly enough video. Well, talking head video, yes, but getting out and filming. And so that brings us to, the IBIS is amazing, and that brings us to our final top 10 reason. Drum roll, please. It's the price. It's the price. So I was looking at the Canon R6, about $2,500, or the Fuji X-T4, about $1,600. The price, all of these features, all of these things, especially the lens price when combined with the camera body price. And I'm like, this is a win for me in 2021.
Those are my reasons for choosing this camera. Thank you so much for joining, and I really appreciate you. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave me a comment and let me know if you have the Fuji X-T4 or why you chose it. There's much more that this camera has to offer that I'm just beginning to unpack and explore. And uh, let's go on this journey. I'm gonna do a channel update video, but I'll just let you know, I will be doing videos on Fuji and Canon as this year uh, progresses. So stay tuned for that. If this was helpful, I'm so glad. Leave me a comment. You can follow me on Instagram, Wes Creasel Photo. Send me a message and let's talk some photography stuff. Peace.